YouTube. Welcome to another YouTube video and yet another deck profile. Now, some of you might be wondering, maybe not, what happened to Water um, Atlanteans after the ban list, after the Casey Cup? Well, reality is nothing. Only Marae of Greed got limited to one. So what you do is you remove the Marae of Greeds you got, you keep one, you play three Swap Frogs and one Ronin Tudin, and add to the extra deck the Cat Shark, and you have your deck up and running. And it is still broken, it is still crazy good, um, it is super consistent, you set up at least two Disruptions and a Graveyard Negate, or Graveyard Lock, if you, if you wish, because it's Dweller, so it technically locks the Graveyard. Um, and that's it. it, it happens every game, every time, it is mad consistent, you have OTK um, cards like Megalo, you have um, Dweller Boost gonna help you with the OTKs, you got the Infantry Pops, the Marksman Pops, it's just all around great deck and mad consistent, and th that's like the most important thing in the game, being consistent. Now let's run through the list, we play 3 Abysteus, 1 Megalo, 3 Pepega Diva of course, Deep Sea Diva, 3 Swap Frog, well Swap Frog is a UR, maybe you don't own 3 Swap Frogs, then maybe add more Marksmen, but if you do have a Swap Frog, you gotta play it, it's a, it's a great card to play. Um, of course, three Dragoons. Dragoons gonna search you the Atlanteans. Crazy good card. Um, one Marksman, three Infantries, and one Abyss Gund to search off of Abyssius, and then Special Summon as a follow-up. And one Ronin Toten, which can Special Summon itself from the Grave by banishing one other Frog Monster from the Grave. One Ray of Greed. This is basically the list for the extra deck. We play one Anamon. Anamon is key to this deck, you revive cards from the grave, it is part of your turn 1 combo, um, part of your, um, you know, follow up in turn 3, it is very good, a very very good card you gotta keep in the deck. Um, Nightmare Mermaid is here only because it is an out to Ibli, if your opponent summons Ibli, you go second, you link Ibli away with Mermaid, that's literally the only thing that this card does. Cat Shark, um, now Cat Shark on its own doesn't do anything, but it has a quick effect. The quick, quick effect does not matter. It is used because it's a water monster that has a quick effect. Thus, if a infantry is attached to it, you can quick effect, detach infantry, and then pop a card on your opponent turn. Or marksman to pop a back row. So that's why Cat Shark, Cat Shark is used in this deck. Pretty good card um, in this scenario. And then we play, of course, one number 37 for OTKs and big monsters to beat over. Double Dweller, because it's the key card of your deck, you need Dweller, you need two of them. And then one Revenus, Revenus is going to help you going first as Interruption, and for your turn three, when you OTK, discard two, pop a card, and then go for your OTK. Trishula, we used to play level nine Trishula long alongside 11, level 11, but now because we play Cat Shark and Marae Greed limited to one, we had to remove the level nine Trishula, keep the level 11. Now the perk of level 11, it is... A card that does not target, non-targeting removal. So basically, if you you can surprise your opponent with it, and they technically cannot, you know, do much about it. Non-targeting, remove three cards, and basically go for the win. This is the list. I hope you enjoy it. Check the duels, fun duels we have that explain the deck very well. Make sure also you subscribe, like, and see you in the next video. Challenging me. Ooh. Wait, I have a question, boys. So if I activate Swap Frog, right? This card, Infantry. Does Infantry pop? Card. We know one of the cards he has in hand is the spell. So probably one of them is going to be a bluff. Where are my Dragoons at, dude? Anyways, we're gonna activate Abysteus, sending infantry to the grave. Circle. Mirror, okay. Alright, 
Let's activate Abyssus at the card. I don't think so. I activate my monster's effect. Mir is gonna activate the special summon. Okay, normal summon. Pepega. Oh, he got Needle Sealing. No, he doesn't. Okay. Alright, let us summon infantry in defense. Ooh, I could um, trick him with a Trishula and go for a game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game. Let's go. Trishula. Activate. Yes. Be gone. What was that back row? It was Ice Dragon Prison. Anyways, now we just go Megalo. Double attack, Megalo coming. Activate Abyss Gun to special summon Abyssius. In attack. Activate Megalo's effect to tribute this card. Now we can attack twice with Megalo. Swing! Swing! That is game! Alright, let's see how this one goes. Ooh, we open our one of Marae of Greed. But we don't actually need it. So let's go with Abistius. Send Dragoons to the Grave, special summon. Talk through all the cards which Yu-Gi-Oh would never play. <laughs> That's a good idea. Alright, level 2. Wait, what was the combo? Yeah, it was level 2. Normal summon. And then activate. <coughs> Special summon. Then we Revenous. I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, let's Revenous. Draw one card. Diva? No, no Diva. Alright, let's go with Murray of Greed. We greedy. We greedy, boys. No Diva? Wait, Dragoons is once per turn or not? Oh, we got Swap Frog. That's cool. I kind of dig that, dude. Alright, apparently Dragoons is not once per turn, so let's get Diva. We can simply normal summon a Link 2. I'll get another infantry. Oh wow, wait, I could do that's an that's nice dude. Let me read swap frog. By discarding one other water, when this card is summoned, you can send one level two or lower aqua type monster. Oh. No, that does not work. I think I'll just I'll keep Ronin Toten and Swap Frog in my hand. I'll just go rank four. I could have done rank four and rank two. But I think this is the better play. Just chill, you know? So we can have Revenus live. Activate, add Revenus back. Alright, we have two pops and the graveyard lock. With Anamon for follow up. Imagine having a restriction. You love you love those kinds of cards, Pika. Don't even pretend. You're angry about it. <clears throat> All right, he's adding White Rose Dragon. From 
Basil Rose shoot. Oh yeah, I do love him. I know it, dude. I know it. I do not love Infernity. Dude, I used to like Infernities. I like genuinely enjoyed them. But when it became, you know, like the last Casey Cup, when it became too much, I just hated it. Ooh, okay, I'll let that go as well. I don't care about that. Okay, back row. It's the battle phase. I'm going to activate to pop. The carrot weight champion. I'm going to wait until the end phase and then pop the back row. It is the end phase now. Let's pop the back row. We simply win now, I think. <laughs> this guy is playing Stardust Respark. That just sparked a idea post Bandless Infernity meme video. Not bad idea. I love it, actually. I love it, dude. We can definitely do that. Alright, GG's. See ya!